Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to part two for your weekly reading for the week of February 21st. Uh, this is part one. If you haven't watched part one yet, it is linked up in the pinned comment down below. But uh, we are going to clarify through here and just see uh, what is going on for you. Uh, with the To Be Fair card and this other card that you had, the Crossroads card, you have this Co-Create card. I don't know, it's getting kind of boring at this point, honestly, Cancer, because, uh, I don't know, every single sign, every single sign that I read for gets this Co-Creation energy, and especially you, and also your opposite sign, Capricorn, which you have Capricorn right here. So what I would say is, you know, of course, teamwork makes a dream work this year. I mean, I think you would be crazy not to work with another person on something. I like to remind people that these don't have to be people that we even are physically with. Um, you know, we can have a spiritual team. We can have a, uh, you know, there are people that are dead that I still watch on YouTube that like inspire me. I consider them to be part of my team, right? Um, there are people who uh, you could form a Facebook group. They don't have to be physically with you, but I'd say any type of teamwork. It doesn't mean like hiring a person for your business. It could be for anything. Uh, I would say you'd be crazy not to be doing at least something, right? We're going to get a lot of benefits through the other people in our lives. With the uh, Ace of Cups, you have the Sun. Love it. Definitely a lot of happiness coming in for you. I would be, you know, again, uh, Pisces had a had a card. I think it's like be loyal to what you love or something like that. Or something along those lines. And I would definitely say if you are a water sign, for sure, which you are, um, then I would be very focused on the things that you love to do. There might, and, and again, I think the challenge for you is that Hierophant card here, Cancer which is showing up right next to it. It's like, if you love, um, you know, again, baking cupcakes, it's like, it, but your family is like, no, you need to become a dentist. You know, th those two things conflict. Not only are those two very different jobs, um, but also a dentist, most dentists probably do not recommend that you eat a bunch of cupcakes, right? <laughs> so there's some sort of conflict here is what I'm trying to say between those two energies. Um, but that's the whole point of uh, Neptune and Pisces. We have Neptune and Pisces right now. It's like, you know, maybe Neptune and Pisces, like traditional beliefs, Hierophant. It's like your family has an idea for your life, but what's your idea? You know, it's like trying to get us to, um, I, I wouldn't say become more individual because again, I think that teamwork and co-creation is more important. But what I would also say is it's, I do feel like it's trying to make us kind of like live our own lives, if that makes sense. So there's like some sort of conflict here. I don't think it's like, oh, like some big, you know, battle that's going to happen here. I just think that maybe you're feeling conflicted or bringing feelings up, something to work through. With the Queen of Cups, you have the Hangman. Definitely making some decisions. I do feel it's time to like get moving with the hangman. Uh, it's kind of weird. I've noticed that over the past couple weeks, the hangman has been more of like a collective energy. It's been coming up for a lot of people recently. And I think it's like the universe is like saying, okay, um, you've all been like waiting for something to happen. You've all been like, waiting to m get your life moving forward. You've gathered a bunch of details over the past couple of years. You've probably learned a lot. You've probably soaked in a lot of energy and figured things out. Now it's time to put things into action. I would be trying, for whatever reason, I'm getting the word dreams popping into my head as well. I feel like you could be having a lot of dreams. Um, the hangman doesn't necessarily represent dreams, but I feel like you could be having a lot of dreams that are kind of guiding you, and I would definitely move in that direction. Uh, with the four wands, you have the uh, tower again. For some of you, it could be a breakup. You know, this could be part of the tower moment. Uh, for others, um, you know, going to the other side of that four wands could be a tower moment. I think people, this is a very common energy right now, Cancer. I feel like people need to realize that it's like, um, you know, for a lot, I think a lot of us are being called to do things that are good, but could also be a tower moment. And people always ask me, how can the, a tower moment be a good thing? I'm like, well, you know, it's like if you're moving away from your family, for example, if you want to move to another country or if you want to move cross country, for example, that can cause a tower moment in your, in your life, right? Because you're like shaking things up. You're moving away from people you've known your whole entire life. They might be upset about that and that might upset you, which would cause a tower moment. But does that mean you shouldn't do it? Uh, no. <laughs> um, again, your family might want you to become a dentist, but you might want to become a comedian, you know, and your family might think you're nuts. But uh, that's the whole point is that if there was ever a time where your ideas that are just cr so crazy, if there was ever a time where, you know, you know, there's an old saying, just so crazy, it might work, right? If there was ever a time where that was true, it's like right now. So I would say embrace those crazy ideas. Yeah, you might be creating tower moments for people in your life, but I would embrace, I, I, you know, I keep telling people I'm embracing the tower right now, personally, on a personal level. I'm all about kind of, um, you know, seeing things, seeing things in new ways, which is really what the tower is about. The towers are meant to be scary. It's like the people in the tower have built those walls to high around them they are ignoring reality right <laughs> so i'm all about the tower because i rather see the truth than you know live in some sort of like la la land which you know basically these two 
they've been living in la la land for too long so you know uh, me uh, you know maybe you don't but i'd rather see the truth and uh, that's kind of like what i feel like is happening here i don't think it's scary at all uh, with the gliding through the currency, if help appears in various ways, again, more co-creation energy. It says, there is much support for you. Sometimes you may get so adrift, you forget to look for support systems that are with you continually. So I do feel like there is a, clearly a lot of support. And, you know, again, uh, just like Capricorn, like I said, you get a ton of these cards that really say, look for help, ask for help. You know, all that other good stuff is what I would say there. So I think sometimes we just need to ask, right? Uh, with the Hierophant, you have the Eight of Swords. <laughs> uh, again, only you have the Eight of Swords twice here, only seeing one way of doing things. I would just realize that there are multiple ways of doing things, and there are probably people that also maybe have better ideas for you as well. So I would open up to that. I really feel like one of the lessons for us water signs in particular is that um, that maybe we have to learn from people we don't agree with as well. Or um, you know, one example I always give is it's like I've read a lot of books on Amazon where it's like they have terrible reviews, right? Or in, it'll always be something like, um, oh, this person believes in aliens and I don't, or, uh, oh, this person believes in, you know, believes in this political person or that political person. And so they totally write off everything that the, the, the person talks about. I'm like, well, that's a great way to stay stuck. And, um, you know, what I would say here is I've like, I've, I've read books, that have terrible reviews because, you know, the person that wrote it isn't great at writing. And people are always like, their writing style is terrible. I'm like, so just because they can't write means their information isn't good, right? Which terrible, you know, which doesn't make sense. And, but I, I kind of get that here. I'm not calling you out here, Cancer, but I'm just saying there might be some information and maybe the information exists with a person who isn't the greatest speaker or isn't the greatest, you know, whatever. But I feel like you need to maybe um, kind of look at look into it. I don't know. Um, we might pull extra cards on that at the end. Yeah, look at this. With the Eight of Swords, you have the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is about teamwork. Teamwork makes a dream work. And it's a card of your community. So again, if you're feeling stuck, I feel like there are people around you. And again, it doesn't have to be someone you don't agree with. It could be a person you agree with here. Um, and I feel like there are people around you who want to help you yeah, you know, like get free. I feel like there are people around you that want to see you be successful. And so maybe you need to ask for help. With the seven of wands, you have the knight of swords. Yeah, I would say no rushing at this time either. Um, I Sometimes I think when we're going through a tower period as well, we just want to get out of it so we can be trying to rush, rush the transformation. And I feel like it's just saying don't try and uh, rush the transformation. Uh, with the vulture and the snake, you have the dolphin. What are you, are you kidding me? This card says this and that are true. Exactly what I was talking about. It's like there might be two sides. There's two sides to everything. I actually think there's a third place where we can all just get along. But uh, what I would say here is that I feel that, you know, it's kind of like saying that whatever you believe is the truth is the truth. That's what this card says. But it also says, you know, there might be people who you don't agree with on various different topics. And, you know, it could say there's like a lot of value in this. And again, this is not a political statement. Everybody always takes it there. As I always say, I think all, all pol politicians should be thrown in jail. I'm a crazy person, right? I think they're all reptile aliens. So, you know, don't talk to me about politics. I think we should just you know get them off planet basically so so there you go how's that for politics but what i would say here is that um you know that right there i feel is kind of like saying you know again there, maybe maybe you're a vegan maybe there's like a meat eater that has some good advice for you <laughs> i don't know i don't know where i'm going with this cancer we're gonna pull extra cards on this and figure it out uh with the devil you have the uh king of swords uh i do feel like there's like if you the, like king of swords is law and order and um you know, I'd say if you, and also it's card of wisdom as well. So if you're feeling stuck again, there could be a person. I'd say if you're dealing with like a big problem as well, I always say with the King of Swords, it's always a good idea to go see an expert. Same thing with the Knight of Swords, because to me, the Knight of Swords can represent needing to get a second opinion. And I would say if you're dealing with any big problems, you know, that a doctor, a lawyer, or, or someone smart could solve, then uh, the King of Swords always says it's better to go seek an expert. And, you know, that's what I would do there. Uh, with the tower, you have the four cups. Mm, yeah, we're definitely manifesting steps at this time. I said this to someone recently. I don't remember what sign it was, but I think that we're not like manifesting necessarily exactly what we want, exactly how we want it, right? It's like we might want to manifest a business and I feel like what we, we are manifesting is steps at this time where it's like the universe, maybe we say, I want, I want a million dollars. The universe is like, okay, go for a walk. And, you're pro and you might feel inspired to go for a walk and you might be saying to yourself, like, how, what does that have to do with the business? Or maybe you feel like, oh, I want to go get a coffee at the coffee shop. And you're like, what does that have to do with me making a million dollars? I think sometimes when we try to manifest something, we're like, um, 
I'm gonna manifest a million dollars and I'm gonna do it exactly this way. And if, if, if I, I'm not gonna allow anything else to happen. I feel like this is saying, if you can loosen up and be flexible with how you manifest things, uh, it's gonna happen very quickly. Uh, with the Ace of Wands, what do you know? You have the Two of Cups and it could be a very good love connection coming in for you. Uh, if you're looking for love, this would be a perfect match. Uh, this is also you and your higher self. I frequently say that the Two of Cups to me can just represent a connection between you and your higher self. So I would like tap into your kind of, you know, higher self energy there through like meditation. Or again, I do feel you could be getting messages from your dreams as well. Uh, I just want to get more information about this whole like, what's this whole like getting information from people you don't, you don't agree with? Or what is this? Here, you have the King of Pentacles. Yeah, more fixed energy. It can like, I don't think this is like, you know, I just think it's saying just look for other ways of doing things. I don't think you have to be like a crazy person like me, right? Um, the King of Pentacles is a card of convention. It's a card of the way things have always been done. I would say that's your worst enemy right now based off of this reading. So, you know, if you're trying to grow a business, I would just look for some new ways of growing your business or new way, new technologies or new things. Uranus and Taurus, Taurus right there. Um, you know, I've been telling people all year that <laughs> with Uranus and Taurus, I mean, if there's ever a time where a new technology could be very successful for you, it's definitely right now. Uh, you have the Queen of Pentacles, love it. King and Queen of Pentacles, really good for love. I mean, th these are, are divine counterparts. And to me, King and Queen of Pentacles are permanent. They want something permanent. Also, uh, again, if you're focusing on money or whatever, she is focusing on this pentacle, but she's extremely resourceful. She kind of uses her resources, which that might not mean money, by the way. She might need money to do something, but there might be another way. She might be able to trade for something she needs. She might be able to negotiate something she needs. So... She asks us to become resourceful. And uh, you have the Nine of Swords as well. Definitely get out of your head um, with this Nine of Swords energy. Nine of Swords is temporary. Uh, for some of you, by the way, one thing I will say about the Nine of Swords that just popped into my head as well is that the Nine of Swords can represent like a part-time position or you know um, part-time work, whatever you wanna call it. So if you're looking for money, the Nine of Swords can represent taking something temporary even or part-time. And it can say, you know, maybe you're looking at it and saying, uh, I don't really want to do this because I, you know, I, for whatever reason, but you know, it can say that there's a lot of benefits there. And I'm getting that for some of you. Uh, with the King of Pentacles, you have the devil again in your reading. Again, the devil, these people are bound and stuck to the devil, but the chains around their neck are meant to look like something they could easily lift off from around their neck. They could easily set themselves free. And so, like I said, I feel that's the stuck energy is the way things have always been done in your life. I feel like it's just time to, it's time for a shakeup is what this reading is, basically. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Judgment card, boom. Uh, I actually really like this because to me, the most powerful combination in the tarot, which you have right here, Tower, Judgment, especially when they show up right next to each other, uh, to me, that's a major, major wake up call, major revelation. To me, it's like a sudden realization when you get the two of them together. Uh, pro again, probably the most powerful combination in the tarot. So I feel like there's like a major wake up call coming in for you. And with the Nine of Swords, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, actually getting everything you want. Ace of Pentacles needing to take care of something, needing to get moving. I get this feeling of just needing to get moving <laughs> on that Ace of Pentacles. Like, um, it's like sometimes I think we want to start something like a YouTube channel and it's like if we if we would just do it and not worry about like the quality and everything like that. It's like, yeah, you have to worry about quality. Yes, you have to worry about will people watch and everything like that. But if we would just get started and just start doing it, we would figure out what people want and we would be successful, right? I kind of get that feeling here, but this could be in any area of your life. <laughs> it's like maybe you want to date uh, and maybe you want love, but it's like you're not getting out there. I feel like it's just saying get started. Uh, so very interesting. Again, I feel like this is a big wake-up call for you. Uh, so thank you for being here. really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But uh, thank you, and definitely enjoy your week.